Praise the Lord. If you are waiting for signs and wonders, I said, Praise the Lord. We well, thank the Lord for what the Lord did yesterday, the first day. That was an appetizer. The beginning. Now, day two. And something great and heavenly is coming your way in Jesus' name. <clears throat> if you connect with the name of Christ, with the power of Christ, everything in your life today will be turned around in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Father, we thank you today. A great day. A special day, a day that will open the heavens and then you will solve long-standing problems in the life of everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, manifest your power, manifest your love, manifest your glory in every life tonight in Jesus' name over here the base of this global crusade manifest yourself everywhere we are hearing your word connected with your word manifest yourself in Jesus name we well, thank you because we know you have done it and every I will see everyone will have a touch in Jesus' name, I pray. Give me a good calabar, amen, before you sit down. God bless you. You can be seated. Tonight, we're talking on signs and wonders. Powerful deliverance through signs and wonders. In Jeremiah chapter 32, I'm reading here from verse 17, Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by the great power and stretch out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. As you are there tonight, understand there is nothing too hard for God. He'll touch your heart. He'll transform your life. He'll heal your body. He'll deliver you from every power of evil because there is nothing too hard for him. I want you to see the connection between that verse and verse 20. In verse 20, it tells us, which has said signs and wonders in the land. He has said, because there is nothing too hard for him. He has said signs and wonders in the land, in the land of Egypt long ago. In the land where you are now, over here in Calabar tonight. In the land, anywhere you are tonight, the power that works, signs and wonders, coming your way in Jesus' name. It says, even unto this day, look at that, signs and wonders at that time. And then it says, even unto this day, and among other men, and has made thee a name as at this day, this day, your signs and wonders will touch you there. Tonight, I'm talking to you on powerful deliverance through signs and wonders. Powerful deliverance through signs and wonders. Look at verse 21. In verse 21, and has brought forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt. Look at this. With signs and with wonders. It brings you out, out of sin, 
was signs and wonders. Out of darkness was signs and wonders. Out of sickness was signs and wonders. Out of calamity was signs and wonders. Out of evil was signs and wonders. Any evil thing that holds you captive today at the final amen of the prayer, he'll bring you out. And then he tells us, and with his strong hand, and with his stretch out arm, and with great terror. You see that? Verse 20, signs and wonders. Sign, uh, verse 21, signs and wonders. Let me connect you with verse 27. In verse 27, behold, I am the Lord. Now, in the other verses we read, Jeremiah had been talking about God. And he says, God is mighty. God is powerful. And God is all sufficient. And then he says, by signs and wonders, in that land, in this land, until this day, the Lord had been manifesting his power. Jeremiah had been speaking, now the Lord Almighty himself is going to talk, and he says, Behold, I am the Lord. He was in Egypt, he was in Babylon, he was in Israel, but now today, at this time, in this place, with you there, with me here, I am no more just was because God is the same. He says, I am God, I change not. And Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And now the Lord himself announces to you tonight. He says, behold, you will behold. You will see something. Power will come to your life right there today and it will do wonderful, exceptional, excellent thing, miraculous thing in your life tonight in Jesus' name. It says, behold, I am the Lord. Look at this, the God of all flesh, African flesh, the God of all flesh, European flesh, the God of all flesh, American flesh, flesh, the God of all flesh, Russian flesh, anywhere you are in the globe, in the world, is the God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me? I didn't hear your answer. Look at those two words there, look at those two words there, is there, turn it out, there is nothing too hard for thee, tonight, nothing is hard for our God. Tonight, whatever level of sin you are, and you are the worst of sins, of sinners, the worst of criminals, the worst of evil doers, I bring good news to you today. The Lord will turn your life around. He will save you. It will transform your life. It will change your life because there is nothing too hard for him. And now, tonight, whatever sickness, whatever infirmity, whatever power is suppressing you there, the power of Christ, the one that knows no impossibility, it will touch you tonight. It will heal you tonight in Jesus' name. Now, Mark chapter 9, verse 23. This is now for you. That if you will connect with the Lord tonight, touch the Lord tonight, believe the Lord tonight, you must carry your miracles, signs, and wonders back home in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said, unto him and remember that Jesus is still the same 
as he was yesterday, so he is today, and so he will ever be. And whatever he said before, he will not say, oh, I made a mistake, pardon me. I want to change what I said before. What he said before is what he's still saying today. And he said unto him, and he's saying the same thing unto you tonight. If thou canst believe, that means if you only believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. All I need to do, I believe. What do you believe? What you hear? What you hear about Christ as Savior? What you hear about Christ as healer? What you hear about him as a deliverer? What you hear about the power that created the world and that is going to recreate you completely? Believe that everything will be all right. In your life as an individual, everything will be all right. In your family as a corporate body together, believe everything will be all right. In the family and in the community, in your local church, there are problems you have been carrying and you are wondering how will this be solved. Believe the Lord tonight. If you can only believe, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. All things are possible to him, to her that believes. And possibilities will come in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Powerful deliverance through signs and wonders. There are three things we're talking about. Number one, the power. Number two, the pardon. Number three, the possibilities. Number one, the power of God for signs and wonders. He has not stopped. From the time of creation, from the day of creation, he started manifesting power and is the everlasting God, the eternal God, the all-sufficient God, and the power he manifested at that time is still manifesting today, the power of God for signs and wonders. And then number two there is our pardon through grace for salvation and worthiness. The pardon, that's the forgiveness, the pardon, he looks at all that you have done, that you ever did wrong in your life, and he's the only God, a gracious God, a merciful God, a loving God that can take all those sins you ever committed, bundle them together, and put them in the sea of his forg of forgetfulness that will never be remembered against you anymore. And it's by the grace of God. And the grace of God means that it manifests that without you paying any amount for ransom, any amount for redemption, any amount of money for the gift and for the grace and for all that he gives you. And freely today and fully today, that grace and that pardon is coming unto you. Your guilt, it will take away. Your condemnation, it will take away. And the pressure of your sin that you have committed in the past, everything, it will take away in Jesus' name. He will save you. I miss an amen there. You will become a brother born again. What are you? I say you become brother, tell me born again you will become sister sage and set apart it will set you my daughter it will set you apart from evil apart from suffering apart from eternal suffering you become sister sage set apart am i talking to somebody there today it's coming your way born again it's coming your way. Salvation. It is the pardon through grace for salvation and worthiness. It will make you worthy of heaven. And then it will transfer you from here, transfer you to glory in Jesus' name. 
Number three, the, pos the, the possibilities in God and the surety of his word. The possibilities in God and the surety of his word. Everything the word says will become sure in your life. What are you? Tonight, the word will be sure. Wonders will be sure. Signs will be sure. Miracles will be sure in your life in Jesus' name. Number one is the power of God for signs and wonders. We're coming back to Jeremiah chapter 32, and I'm reading from verse 17. Our Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and by thy stretch out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. That's all you need to understand, that as you are there tonight, as you come before the Lord, anything you are asking, you are asking for salvation, you are asking for the forgiveness of your sin, you are asking that the Lord will give you a soft heart, a tender heart, a yielding heart, a willing heart. You say, my heart is hard. My heart is like a stone. I do bad things. I don't even feel they are bad. But I want a soft heart, a tender heart, a changed heart, a transformed heart. The Lord will do it for you tonight. All you need to do, all you need to understand is that he created the whole world, the whole universe, and then he can recreate you. He has the power. He can refashion you. He has the power. He can reform you. He has the power. It will turn your life around. He has the power. And tonight, it will do it in Jesus' name. He created the world, the earth, by his great power. And it's going to recreate you. It's going to transform you. It's going to save you by his great power and by stretch out arm. And there is nothing too hard for him. Nothing too hard for him. His love is so wide. His love is so deep. It will cover your case. Even though you feel you are rejected and you feel you are so bad, nobody will love you. God loves you. And he loves you enough to say, I created you first. And then you deformed yourself and you spoiled your life. But today, I'm going to take hold of your life. I'm going to recreate you again. The creative power of the Almighty God is coming upon you right now. Just, just, just as you come, just as you surrender, and you say, Lord, here am I, I surrender. That animal nature in me that beats my wife and beats my children as if they are not my children. That thing that comes on me when I get angry, I do things I regret about. The Lord says, he understands. Tonight, you will not be like that anymore. That cruelty and that evil and that animal nature, the Lord will take it away from your life, from your heart, in Jesus' name. You say, when I steal, I don't understand myself. The things I steal, I don't even need them. And then when they discover me, they punish me. And yet I go back again to steal. That nature that makes you stealing uh, compulsively, the Lord is going to do it. It will refashion your life. It will recreate your life. And that stealing habit, everything tonight is cancelled in Jesus' name. And everyone that has said, my flesh is my problem, remember, is the God of all flesh. And if your flesh has been driving to evil, fornication, adultery, evil things, and then you say, I want it to be free. I'm even ashamed of being like that. The Lord will cleanse your heart tonight. 
the blood of Jesus will make you whole and make you clean tonight. All that tendency, all that habit, all that fleshly pollution in your life, the Lord will recreate you. Just as you surrender to the Lord and you understand it's the God of all flesh and there is nothing too hard for him to do then he will hold you but you know if a child is going to be held up that child has to also stretch the hand and as you stretch your hand to the lord today and you say lord here am i i come to you i want a change i want a transformation i want your salvation it will come i said it will come and then the power of the creative God will walk in your life. He will release you to become a new man, a new woman, a different person. And the power that used to force you to do evil, all that power will be canceled tonight. Behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arm and there is nothing somebody say there's nothing somebody shout there is nothing there is nothing too hard for thee I, I, the first time i went to russia the people there at that time did not understand there is nothing to hard for thee. I announced to the people, I said God is still the same. The God of power and the God of creation and the God of all possibilities. And somebody thought it will prove to us that God cannot do what I was saying he will do. There was a woman that was paralyzed 25 years hands paralyzed feet paralyzed and then as we gathered together and i was preaching and i told the people with god all things are possible that the great power of god has not changed and will never change so this man brought somebody who had been paralyzed for 25 years hands could not walk legs could not walk and put her at the door at the gate where everybody will come out and they will see the palace woman there and then they will say oh look at this woman what uh, pastor como you said is not true god cannot do it what i'm telling you is true it will be done in your life and then uh, we prayed, and then many things happened. But that woman was still there. And as we said in Jesus' name, amen, the final amen. And they were passing like this without anybody touching that woman. That woman got up. Hands all right. Legs all right. And then she began, she began to walk. Nobody touching her. That same God that did that in Russia many years ago is coming to your place today. And the power of the Lord will turn your life around. He will save you and it will heal you. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. Because of the miracles that took place at that time in Moscow, Russia, the Pentecostal Union, in Moscow invited me back four months after and then as I was preaching I was holding a microphone and then I saw one woman led the congregation and she was coming my direction I kept on speaking but I was wondering why didn't they stop this woman and then she got to me on the stage and he got the microphone from me so I kept quiet and then she said here am I when the pastor came four months ago, I was totally paralyzed. I've been paralyzed for 25 years. I am the woman. I am okay. You will be okay tonight in Jesus' name. 
signs and wonders. If the law could do that at that time, our God has not changed. It will come your way tonight. It will set you free. And there is nothing too hard for him. In your life, nothing too hard. In your family, nothing too hard. For that son, for that daughter, nothing too hard. He will set you free today in Jesus' name. Look at that verse 20 again. In verse 20 it says, Which has set signs and wonders. Which has set, do you ever set your watch? Do you ever set the clock on your phone and you set the time? And then you say, at this time that I said, I want the alarm clock to ring out. And then at the set time, it rings out. The Lord has set the time for your signs and wonders tonight. And then uh, the set time uh, is the time of prayer. And as that set time comes, and we say, in Jesus' name, catch it, your salvation has come. When we say, in Jesus' name, catch it, your miracle has come, in Jesus' name. You search the signs and the wonders in the land of Egypt even unto this day, unto this day, unto this day and in Israel among other men and has made thee a name as at this day. Point number two. Point number two, our pardon through grace for salvation and worthiness. Our pardon through grace for salvation and worthiness. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 55, and I'm reading from verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while it's near. The Lord is granting us a word of wisdom. There are people that are not wise and they say, tomorrow I will make it. Tomorrow I will seek the Lord. Tomorrow I will call on the Lord. The Lord is saying today is what you have. You're not sure of tomorrow. And you cannot predict all the signs and all the things that will happen tomorrow. Don't let the devil cheat you. Don't let the devil deceive you. I'll make it another time. This is your time. Am I talking to somebody there? This is your time. It will happen in your life. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. How do you know when he'll be found? You already heard testimony of what the Lord did yesterday, both here and in many other places. It can be found now, and you're still alive now, and you're still breathing now, and I see the desire in your heart, you want the touch of the Lord, and you want the transforming power of the Lord. This is the time, the time when everybody is expecting when everybody is praying, when the mercy of God is flowing like a river, and when the power of God is in great manifestation, this is your time. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. When the grace of God is still available, and when the Lord is calling and inviting you, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This is the time, the time when the promise of God is still fresh. And it says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is your time. A wise man will take the word of wisdom. A wise woman will take that word of wisdom that God has given that this is your time. You seek the Lord while he may be found. You call upon him while he is near. Look at verse 7. In verse 7, 
let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked forsake his way. What the Lord is saying is, if you're seeking the Lord, he is holy, he is righteous, he is clean. You're seeking the Lord, you will forsake all those dirty things you have in your heart, in your mind, around your body, that waistband, you cannot keep that waistband and say, I'm coming to the Lord. You lose them, losing them, and you throw them away. You cannot that keep that charm on your hand, on your neck, and say, I'm seeking the Lord. Let the wicked forsake his way. You cannot be stumbling into the presence of God with your alcohol and with your drunkenness and saying, I am coming. Let the wicked forsake his way. The tobacco and the thing that you are taking in that is giving you cancer and giving you sickness. You cannot hold that and say, I'll never leave this one. I'll never forsake this one. But I'm seeking the Lord. Let the wicked forsake his way. And if you have been into immorality, fornication, adultery, and you are yoked and you are hanging on with another man's wife, another man, another woman's husband, and then you say, I believe the Lord, uh -uh, you are religious, but the Lord does not accept that. Let the wicked forsake his way. As you come to the Lord tonight, you are coming to the Lord tonight. I said you are coming to the Lord tonight. Everything that will bring judgment from God, all those things you pack aside, you throw away, you say, Lord, I come, the Lord will receive you. And the Lord will pardon you. And the Lord will cleanse your life. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man, who is that? That's the opposite of the righteous. That's the opposite of righteous Christ. Your life is turned upside down. Your life inside, outside is dirty, is ungodly. You're righteous. He says, let the righteous man or righteous woman or righteous boy a righteous girl, let him forsake his thoughts. The thought and the plan, I will do evil, I will steal, I will commit this, I'll commit that. I'll do all those secret things that men we will not be able to see. But God can see all those thoughts of unrighteousness, the thoughts of uncleanness, the thoughts of ungodliness forsake everything and then let him return unto the Lord. You come to the Lord and you will have mercy upon him. Who is that? I said who is that? He will have mercy upon you. The mercy that brings forgiveness, mercy will come to you. The mercy that brings freedom, mercy will come to you. The mercy that brings salvation, mercy will come to you and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Abundantly pardon. His pardon will cover every sin you ever committed as you come before the Lord and say, Lord, here I am. I have no other plea except that Christ died for me on the cross of Calvary. And then the salvation of God will come to you in Jesus' name. Is that Calabar? Amen. And even if you are coming for the first time today, the mercy of the Lord will reach you even today as you are coming uh, for the first time. I said the mercy of God will reach you today as you are coming uh, for the first time. Let me, let me tell you this. A few years ago, I went to America and it's, uh, it was in uh, Minnesota. And one of our members knew that we we're talking about the love of God. The love of God that reaches everybody. And then uh, 
as a member of the church, his sister, she was a nurse working in the hospital. And there was a woman in that hospital, a Korean woman. She was at the point of death, about to die. And then the nurse approached the doctor and said, Doctor, a pastor came from Nigeria and he's uh, talking about the love of God. Can I take this Korean woman? Can I take her to the meeting? Oh, the doctor said, if she remains here, she will die. If you take her, she will die. She might die on the road. She might die over there. And see, she will die any moment from now. Take her. And the sister took her, the Korean woman, in an ambulance. And then they stretched her out in that ambulance. When the ambulance reached our church, they gently brought out the stretcher and they left and they laid her at the back of the church. I didn't even know she was there. And she had never been in any church because she was not even a nominal Christian. He was, she was following the religion of Korea, their religion over there. And then I spoke like I'm speaking to you tonight and I assured everybody and I said, even if you are here for the first time, the love of God is reaching out to you there. And I come here to announce to you that even though you are coming for the first time, the mercy and the pardon and the love and the grace of God is coming to you now in Jesus' name. And then, like we normally do, we preach. And then I said, in Jesus' name, we prayed. And the people gave a good amen. All of a sudden, as other people were giving testimony, that Korean woman at the back of the church on the stretcher, no usher went there, nobody touched her. Power came from heaven and made her to rise up. She got up, she took steps, and she walked, and she came to the platform, and she was crying, and she was saying, how did God heal me? I've never been to church. I've never called the name of Jesus for the first time. The power of Christ came upon me and look at me. She was totally made whole. That same God that did that at that time pardoned her sins, forgave her sins, and set her free and brought revival and renewal and healing and deliverance to her. That power is here tonight. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He will pardon all your sins. The grace of God will come to your life tonight in Jesus' name. Point number three now, the possibilities in God and the surety of his word. Possibilities. Somebody shout, possibilities. We're looking at Jeremiah chapter 32, and I'm reading from verse 21. And has brought forth thy people. If you become part of his people, he'll bring you out to, out of the dungeon, out of the lion's den, out of Nebuchadnezzar's fire, he will bring you out. Just become one of his people. All heaven will stand by you and whatever power you need to break any yoke in your life tonight that yoke is broken in jesus name and has brought forth thy people israel out of the land of egypt with signs and with wonders look at that with signs and with wonders and with a strong hand and will stretch out arm and with great terror. Then in verse 27, look at verse 27, Behold, I am the Lord. And when you hear the Lord like that, you need to picture as if the Lord came in front of you and he looked at your condition and he said, Wipe your tears away, I am the Lord. 
take your sorrow away i am the lord all the regrets of your life abandon them i am the lord i am the god of all flesh the god of all flesh anybody having flesh here today i said anybody having flesh here today where is it what is she it's your god i said it's your god and the lord with his mighty power will touch you tonight whatever the flesh is in jesus name we were in makodi benu stage in our country here and i was a man near the crusade ground he couldn't come into the crusade ground because of his peculiar problem he couldn't wear a pair of trousers why he had elephantiasis the two legs were big like the legs of an elephant and he could only wear wrapper around him and so he said how can i come he could not wear shoe. There was no shoe that was size him. Not even slippers. And then he stayed. He brought a, sh a chair in front of his house. And the microphone from the crusade field was reaching him there. And then I preached the word of God. I assured the people, like I'm assuring you tonight, that God is the God of all flesh, and with him nothing shall be impossible. And then it came time to pray, and then we give the altar call, and the people that accepted the truth, like you, you accept the truth. Anybody accepting the truth there tonight? And the truth will work wonders in your life in Jesus' name. And the people that accepted the truth, they raised up their hands. I even had a chance to call them forward. And then after that, we said, we're going to pray now. Whatever your challenge, anywhere you are, whether you are here or you are there, the power of God will come upon your life. And then we prayed, and we mentioned the name of Jesus, the name that always overcomes every sickness, every infirmity, every impossibility. And then at the final amen, the people shouted like Calabar people, Amen! <laughs> immediately, immediately, that man sitting in front of his house, hearing the prayer, hearing everything, the elephant chances went down immediately. Everything became normal. And then the following day, he dressed like a gentleman. The following day, you'll dress like a gentleman. The following day, you'll dress like a dignified woman. And then he came to the crusade. He said, I wasn't here last night. I was over there in front of my house and the power of God touched me and now everything is all right. In your life tonight, everything is all right. In your heart, in your soul, in your spirit tonight, everything is all right. Salvation is coming your way. Deliverance is coming your way. Healing is coming your way. Deliverance is coming your way. Great possibilities here tonight. And the certainty of his word, every word you are hearing will turn to power in your life. And then it says, is there anything too hard for me? There's nothing too hard for the Lord. He will accomplish that in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 9, 
verse 23. Mark chapter 9, reading from verse 23. And Jesus said unto him, Here is what the Lord is saying to you tonight. Anyway you are, he's saying he's bringing salvation to you. If you can only believe, it's bringing healing to you. If you can only believe, it's bringing signs and wonders into your life tonight. If you can, if you can only believe, Jesus says unto you, If thou canst believe, all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible to him that believeth. Anyone believing there? anyone believing there as you believe it will be so unto you you believe in the savior salvation will come to you you believe in christ the healer healing will come to you tonight in jesus name it's bowed and eyes closed I'm going to give you a chance to give expression to what you say you believe you say I believe he'll give me pardon, he'll give me freedom, he'll give me salvation. You give expression to that faith. And if you are turning away from your sin and you are turning to Christ as your Savior tonight, and you know that whatever sin you have committed is able to save you, able to forgive you right now, wherever you are, don't waste time, raise up that hand. Where are you? Praise the Lord. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Christ is my Savior. He died for me on the cross of Calvary. I forsake my evil. I forsake my sin. I forsake my all the bad things I've been doing. And I come to Christ for pardon. I come to Christ for salvation. Raise up that hand. Whether you are here or you are outside, anywhere you are in our country, anywhere you are in Africa, America, Asia, Europe, anywhere you are, raise up your hand. Even if you are alone in your house by yourself, I believe Christ is my Savior. I believe uh, he'll forgive all my sins now. Raise up that hand. If you are raising up your hand, you stand up, stand up, stand up for Jesus. Jesus, your Savior, stand up, stand up for Jesus. Jesus, the one that will free you from all your sins. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, the one that will bring salvation from Calvary and from heaven and give you that salvation here today. Lord, I believe Jesus is my Savior. Raise up that hand and stand up. As you are standing up, close your eyes. Visualize the Lord is in front of you and tell him, Lord, I hide nothing. I keep nothing away from you. I am sorry. I've been a sinner. I heard you'll forgive everyone who comes. I come. I come. Forgive me. He will never say no. He accepts you. He believes that you have repented and he gives you that forgiveness and salvation now lord i accept your salvation say that lord say it aloud lord i accept your salvation it will not be taken away from you in jesus name Raise up your hand while you're standing. I'll pray for you now, Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you for all these who are standing because they come out, they come away from their sin, and they come to the Lord as their Savior. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Change their lives and the thing they have been doing before. Give them a dislike for every evil sin in Jesus name let your spirit be a witness in their hearts they are now children of God their sins are forgiven salvation had been given unto them confirm me to Lord and give them the assurance of that salvation in Jesus name thank you Lord because we know you have answered 
In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I am saved. Say it again, I am saved. It is done in Jesus' name. Keep on standing. The counselors are coming to you. And then they'll give you some you know, sheet of paper to fill. Do that. And then I'll come back. All your yokes are broken today. Our state of us here now will take over. Keep standing. Keep standing. Keep standing. Our collectors be with them. Be with them for one to ten and overflow outside. Be careful with the data. Be careful, no mistake. Write boldly, capital letters, the address, their name, the, the, the contact, boldly. Don't be in a hurry. That's what, what the pastor came to Calabar. Get their names properly. Those that are listening, I'm going to buy a hair in prayer and say, God, visit me. Visit me. Visit me tonight. Don't look around. Just bow your hair and say, God, tonight is my night. Tonight is my night. Please go ahead. Those collecting the data, go ahead. Galleries, overflow outside. Be careful. Be meticulous, be diligent. Get their names accurately, address, phone number, count the digits, so that tonight they will receive a message from the e-follow-up. And write legibly, boldly, with capital letters. And you stay there after prayer, you bring them out for miracle. Stay on, on the galleries. You know your halls. So when you are true, you know what to do to indicate that you are true. Mention, make sure that your names are well written, well written, boldly. Your phone numbers, clearly written. Don't write seven for five or four for three. Write clearly so you don't miss them. Those waiting, waiting, be quiet. Ask God, don't pass me by. That cancer, that fibroid, that, that bleeding, that incredible case, tonight it will roll away. Be praying now. Be expectant. Have faith. Have faith in God. As the pastor will come to pray now, just believe God. He will not touch you, but the power of the word will touch you for signs, for wonders. Collect us if you are true now. You know what to do to indicate that you are true. We're waiting for you. Okay. That hall is true. You are true. All right, the member by my right is true. Get the slips, package the slip very well for you follow up. Don't, don't miss any, any slip, any card. When you are true, let me know. Indicate. Write your region, write your states, write whether you are male or female, indicate clearly. Those outside online, the same thing you would do. The Lord is there with you. Are you in Nigeria? Are you in the regions? Are you in Africa? Are you in Europe, Asia, Middle, Middle East? Anywhere you are, the same thing, the same results. So do what you are doing now. Those in the States, take their data, take their names. Those waiting for miracle, be praying now. That problem, that problem 
will disappear tonight. Believe. Believe that. That sickness will disappear tonight. You will not die. When you are true, okay, you are true there. That hall is true. How about Igbo? Efik, are you true? Indicates. All right. Hall 5 is true. Hall 10 is true. Hall 9 is true. Or 8. That's fine. Stay there to bring them. Okay, that hall is true. Gallery, you are true. Okay, you are true. Hall 2. You are true. God bless you. Package the slips now. The slips. Don't make mistake. Don't miss any sleep. Package, package them now. All right, you are true. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, that holy is true also. God bless you. So, be praying now. As the man of God is coming now, at the last amen, I will jump up with joy. It's coming now. It's coming now. Praise the Lord. Are you ready? Look at your amen. I said, Praise the Lord. Remember, as we're here tonight, all things are possible. In your life, signs and wonders, healing and miracle, your blind eyes will open. Those deaf ears will open. And the Lord will raise up those who are paralyzed and they're lying down in Jesus' name. Every swelling in your body goiter, whatever, will vanish away. Raise up one hand and lay the other hand on yourself when you have the problem. And if you are standing in for another person, for a mother, for a father, for anyone, raise up your hand for them. As the Lord is touching people here, he will touch your father, your mother far away. Anywhere you are, online, anywhere you are, any congregation, everywhere, all over the world, in the globe, just raise up your hand and the power of God is touching your life right now. Jesus said unto him and unto you, if thou canst believe, all things are possible for him, to him, the believer, Father, in Jesus' name. That's the name that holds power and the name that demonstrates power. Whatever the challenge, Lord, we pray you set your people free in Jesus' name. From the top of the head to the soles of their feet, I pray that your power will roll away every problem in Jesus' name. Insanity, you are delivered in Jesus' name. Madness, you are set free in Jesus' name any swelling in any part of your body i command that swelling come out in jesus name and all internal problems like cancer like ulcer like tuberculosis like hiv aids whatever the problem be healed in jesus name those who are blind i pray lord touch those blind eyes now. Open their eyes now in Jesus' name. Give them a bright vision that at the end of the prayer they look around, 
they will see in Jesus name those who are deaf and dumb touch them right now take the dumbness away I take the deafness away dumb deaf ears dumb tongues be loose in Jesus name those who have stroke hands withered legs withered paralyzed or one leg shorter than the other I pray the power of God will come upon you right now rise up and walk in Jesus name Lord whatever challenge anyone has as we all believe in you now do the impossible in every life heal the sick everywhere and at the final amen let there be a performance a manifestation a demonstration of your miracle power in everyone in jesus name i thank you lord because i know it is done i know it is done in jesus name we pray Praise the Lord. The Lord has answered your prayer. Now you put action to your faith, expression to your faith. Whatever you are not able to do before, you are not able to bend, now you can bend. You are not able to walk, now you can walk. You were not seen before, now you can see. Whatever you were not able to do before, do it now. The power of God has come upon you.